Hello everyone and welcome to another replay brought to you by Shiki Starcraft. Uh, this is going to be on Scorched Haven or Scorched something. Anyways, uh, look it up after and maybe put it in the comments. It's going to be a 2 vs 2 in, I believe, the Platinum Division. Yes, it is Platinum and is going to be our partner's uh, demon spawning as the... I don't think this is pink. We'll, we'll say pink. Uh, the demon is spawning as the pink Protoss and Mildo spawning as the... Purple Terran facing off against KX or KPXH. I'm just gonna call him KP. The Blue Protoss and Fun Chun. Yes, great Fun Chun. Sounds Asian. I don't know. Hope that's not racist. Spawning as the Red Zerg. And uh, yes, this map is fairly cool. I like it. You've got your shared choke point. Your ramps are facing back towards your natural expansions. So it is fairly easy to defend. You can create a wall off if you want. But yes, easy to defend. There is top and bottom expansions cross uh, spawning on the map. And there is gold expansions in the middle. Gold expansions, as you know, only have six minerals. And this is not an island expansion, so it actually has full eight. And then there is two more expansions at the top and the bottom. And there is two Zelnaga watchtowers to watch over the expansion and the uh, trek in between the two bases that's not the middle. All right, let's get into the game here. Fun Chun opening up with uh, looks like probably a 13 pool. We'll see if he's going to do a hatch as well. Uh, KP opening with a uh, pylon gateway ex assimilator. And we've got Mildo's scout finding him. He's going to go through the mineral, li mineral line. KP doesn't take his workers off his, the line to... Uh, focus the scout down. And we've got our first zealot being warped in and rallied to the uh, the choke point. We've got a pylon here as well near the choke point for maybe for some cannons or another gateway or maybe just to warp in. We've got Mildo doing uh, the BBS strategy for your wall, uh, barracks, barracks, supply. It is very well, it works very well against banelings. If you have two supply depots, banelings can come in and take out both supply depots. The splash zone is ridiculously large for the banelings. And this actually just helps st strengthen your wall. You can put another barracks or something else here if you want as well, so that the wall is even more fortified. But uh, this is pretty much just standard. And it also allows you to get an add-on for the one barracks. Second supply depot coming up. He's got his orbital command, his first mule. I think that's his first. Yes, probably first mule down, and he's spawning more and more SCVs, and it looks like he's now training an army. He's got two marines and pumping two more out. Uh, back in Demon's base, he's getting uh, Gateway Pylon. He's got his Cybernetics core up already, and he's getting a Forge. So maybe going for a attack level 1 upgrade and then a timing push with that. I guess we'll have to see what these guys are doing. Um, tech Lab getting added on, and we are seeing the second Tech Lab come on for the Barracks, keeping that wall intact, and once again, still very good against Banelings, as, actually, I guess if Banelings hit this, it will take out the Tech Lab as well, but at this point, they've probably done enough scouting to see that there is no Baneling Nest, and in fact, we do have a Roach Warren and Lair coming for Tier 2. Back in KP's base, we have three Zealots, and we're warping in a Robo Bay and a Twilight Council. So sticking with one gateway and not getting warp gates, it looks like he is going for Immortals and maybe Speed Lots or Charge Lots. Uh, we'll have to see and wait as things unfold. Economy-wise, we are seeing 20 Harvesters and 20, well, 20 and 24 Harvesters for uh, the Blue and Red team, and we're seeing 20 and 22 for... Uh, Demon and Mildo. So the economy is fairly balanced actually between the, the two teams. We are seeing gas as well being balanced out. So fairly good matchup coming so far. Army wise, uh, it's a mix of everything as well. We've got uh, the army of blue and red being a little better. KP and Fun Chun. I love that name now. Fun Chun. <laughs> Fun Chun. <laughs> Anyways, a little carried away. One spine crawler, two spine crawlers up in the base. Queen with uh, an excess of energy should be pooping that creep tumor. Uh, spawn larva finishing now. 
could create uh, more larva and poop a tumor and still have enough energy for the next time that the larva comes around. Dark Shrine coming up for KP, so let's see what's going to happen here. We are seeing a Warp Prism come into play. Uh, so the Twilight... Ca Excuse me, that's terrible. Uh, Twilight Council coming into play so that he can... Uh, wa sorry, Warp in the Dark Shrine. And then he's going to get a Forge in another Gateway. Don't know what the pings are coming on, but uh, I wish they would show that. We do have Demon and Mildo's forces pushing out a little. And it looks like the Warp Prism for... Yes, for KP is going to get spotted by Mildo since he has this Zelnuggle Watchtower. Is he going to be able to do anything about it? He does not have enough energy to scan with right now, and he doesn't have an engineering bay. This could be trouble. If we look at... Uh, yes, we don't have any observers out for uh, demons, so I'm not sure what's going to be happening here, but I'll try to keep an eye on this and try not to miss it, guys. Uh, we've got uh, Mildos, Marauders, and Marines... Backed up by the Zealots, Stalker, Immortals, and a couple Sentry, well, single Immortal. Another Marauder trying to bring up the rear. And we've got an Overlord that spots this. Marines trying to take it down. And we are now seeing the Warp Prism in. I don't see any Dark Templar yet, though. Maybe he doesn't have enough gas, or I don't know what's going on, but he didn't warp it in. There was nothing in there to drop. He still does not have enough energy to scan, so we're still... Uh, we still could come up with some trouble here. Mildo getting himself supply locked. And we are seeing our first engagement with the roaches and the zealots. Immortals are able to tear those roaches and spine crawlers apart. We see Funchun trying to warp in, or sorry, uh, morph a bunch of extra uh, spine crawlers. And at the same time, we see Dark Templars able to rain chaos on, this ex on the main base of Mildo. That is not going to be good news for him. We're going to need uh, Mildo and Demon to be able to take this force out. Dark Templar of KP able to rip apart the Marauder and Stalker army right now for the fact that there is no observers on the field. Uh, Mildo forced to fly his, both of his command centers off and try to get his SCVs out while the four Dark Templar in his base still go unmatched as they take out Supply Depot after Tech Lab after what else they're going to destroy. I don't know. Uh, the f base or the attack force here was held off by this Dark Templar and Sentry. All those uh, spine crawlers did play effect too. The spire is now up, so we're probably going to see. Nope, doesn't have enough for mutas right now. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of a push out here for Demon. At the same time, KP did warp a few. Uh, looks like just one Dark Templar in in Demon's base, trying to harass him as well. But Demon does have that observer up and Zealots and able to. Uh, reinforce the army. Demon's stalkers now able, probably going to be able to take out this warp prism, not paying attention. Only f one firing though, he needs both of them to fire in order to take that down. He's going to escape. That is too bad. 20, 20 uh, HP left. I don't know what, uh, if they're armored or what they are, but I don't think they were doing full damage. Barracks on fire needs to be repaired before it blows up. Uh, back here in KP's base, we see a couple cannons, and he looks like he's going for another, well, his first expansion. Uh, nothing else being researched. We do see two Stargates coming up now, so he's transitioning from Dark Templar, which is a very gas-heavy technology to try to get early in the game, uh, into two Stargates, which is going to be probably for Void Rays or Phoenix, more than likely Void Rays. But uh, once again, that is going to be very gas-heavy, so we'll see what he can do to uh, combat this right now, or... Uh, let's see what Mildo and, Mildo and Demon can do to combat that. 